After filing for bankruptcy in May, the Christmas tree shop soon could be closing for good. Retailer hasn't been able to pay bankruptcy lenders. Joe Cortez joining us live now with more on what is next in this process. Joe. Well, Patrick, the company filed for bankruptcy back in May and they were hoping for some stability after filing, but that has not been the case. According to the chairman, Mark, uh, Mark uh, Salkovitz, he said that he plans on closing stores by the end of August. Now, we've already seen some of the effects of store closures over in Massachusetts, both in Sagamore and Falmouth. At the time the company filed for bankruptcy, 10 of the 82 stores closed strictly for financial restructuring. Neither store here in Rhode Island has closed to stores yet, but a, the retailer refinanced in order to, in order to pay its employees and restructure the company. But since then, they haven't been able to meet the obligations of that loan. Now, an economist from MIT said the Christmas tree shop had their chance to come back, but unfortunately fell short. Creditors basically said, you know, you gave it a shot. It didn't work. So so now we want our money. You add the pandemic plus just the growth of Amazon more generally. And a lot of these retail shops, especially the brick and mortar ones, are having a tough time. Now, there's still a slight chance that a last minute investor could come in and save the company, but they would have to take over the debt as well as the dozens of stores across 20 states. For now, though, be on the lookout for some of those last minute deals that could take place today. In just a few hours, we're going to hope to talk to a few employees and customers around here to get the latest on this story. For now, reporting live in Warwick, I'm Joe Cortez for 12 News This Morning. More local news now. The end of an era approaching here. A popular store founded out on Cape Cod could see liquidation sales as early as today. Many loyal customers of the Christmas tree shops bidding farewell. As the company's chairman said, the stores could close by the end of next month. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez live in Warwick with what's expected now in these uh, final days of this store. Joe. Well, Patrick, the company filed for bankruptcy back in May, and they were hoping to get kind of a restructure, some new stability. But unfortunately, on June 5th, they did refinance that debt, and then they figured out that they weren't able to meet the requirements of the loan. So since then, we've seen... Sagamore and Falmouth close, but right now we're looking at the Rhode Island store and there's not too many signs out here as of yet. The chairman of the company says that he plans on closing stores by the end of August and an, econ an econ economist from MIT said that there was a multitude of reasons for the closure, including the pandemic, but the growth of Amazon has played a significant role on the depletion of the brick and mortar stores. Many customers have been feeling the effects since May and with less and less on the shelves on their favorite spots. Here's what they had to say. I like to touch the, the stuff so I can know yeah. if it's good or not good. They have really good sheets for um, like $12. You can't get that online. I don't know what else to say, you know. I mean, I'm going to miss it. The two Rhode Island stores are among the 74 remaining Christmas tree shops set to close. Now, there's still a small chance a last minute investor could save the company, but there would have to be a lot to come through for that to happen. And we're sticking around here, hopefully talking to some employees and some shoppers ahead of the closure. You could see some of those closing sales begin as early as today. For now, reporting live in Warwick, I'm Joe Cortez for 12 News This Morning.